26th Sunday in Ordinary Time The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The Gospel according to Mark 9:38 to 43, 45, 47 to 48. John answered him, saying, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, who followeth not us, and we forbade him. But Jesus said, Do not forbid him. For there is no man that doth a miracle in my name, and can soon speak ill of me. For he that is not against you, is for you. For whosoever shall give you to drink a cup of water in my name, because you belong to Christ, Amen I say to you, he shall not lose his reward. And whosoever shall scandalize one of these little ones that believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged around his neck, and he were cast into the sea. And if thy hand scandalize thee, cut it off, it is better for thee to enter into life, maimed, than having two hands to go into hell, into unquenchable fire. And if thy foot scandalize thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter lame into life everlasting, than having two feet, to be cast into the hell of unquenchable fire. And if thy eye scandalize thee, pluck it out. It is better for thee with one eye to enter into the kingdom of God, than having two eyes to be cast into the hell of fire. Where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not extinguished. This is the Gospel of the Lord. This day's Gospel from Mark addresses Jesus' response to the disciples' concern about someone not from their group casting out demons in Jesus' name. Here's what transcribed. 1. Concern for Exclusivity The disciples express concern about someone who was not a part of their group performing miracles in Jesus' name. They exhibit a narrow understanding of who can be part of Jesus' ministry and demonstrate a desire to maintain exclusivity. 2. Inclusive Perspective Jesus responds by challenging the disciples' exclusivity, stating that whoever is not against them is for them. He emphasizes the importance of recognizing and affirming the good work done in his name, regardless of who is performing it. 3. Seriousness of Causing Others to Stumble Jesus warns against causing others, especially those who believe in him, to stumble. He uses vivid imagery, such as cutting off a hand or foot or gouging out an eye, to emphasize the seriousness of sin and its consequences. 4. Call to Radical Action Jesus calls for radical action to avoid sin and prevent others from stumbling. He encourages his disciples to take decisive measures, even if it involves sacrificing something valuable, to ensure their spiritual well-being and the well-being of others. 5. Eternal Consequences of Sin Jesus concludes by emphasizing the eternal consequences of sin, using graphic language to describe the agony of hell. He underscores the seriousness of sin and the importance of repentance to avoid eternal separation from God. In summary, this day's Gospel from Mark challenges the disciples' exclusivity and emphasizes the importance of recognizing and affirming the good work done in Jesus' name. It warns against causing others to stumble, and calls for radical action to avoid sin and its consequences. So let us pray. Lord, as we meditate on the teachings of Jesus in today's Gospel, we ask for your guidance and wisdom. Help us to embrace inclusivity and affirm the good work done in your name, regardless of who performs it. Grant us the strength to take decisive measures to avoid sin, and prevent others from stumbling. May your Spirit lead us in paths of righteousness, and may we always strive to live according to your will, avoiding anything that leads to spiritual harm. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.